Now, live from the ASU TV studios in the College of Communications, this is A State News. It's less than a month and a half till April 15th. Many students work and go to school, but don't know what kind of tax benefits they could be receiving. I do not personally handle my taxes, so I don't know any about any of the ben benefits. I do work. I work over at Arkansas Biosciences, and um, I'm included as a dependent for my parents, so they file almost everything. Jennifer Prim here at H&R Block tells students what they need to know about filing their taxes. Something that is new with this education credit I was talking about earlier, the American Opportunity Credit, is you can do books, computers, and supplies. That is, you've never been able to do that before. So in 2009 and in 2010, that is the time limit for this credit. Students who plan to take advantage of this one-year only tax benefit need to bring in some personal information their tax preparers will need. And they would need to bring in their W-2s. Um, at this point we can file with pay stubs as of Monday the 15th, so if they don't have the W-2 we can use the final pay stub. If students don't want this professional help but want the American Opportunity Credit, they can submit their taxes online. We have a program called Second Look Review. Um, it is wonderful for those people that want to do it themselves but would just want to make sure it's correct. Students who need help in filing a return or want to know other ways they can benefit this year from being a student have plenty of time to get a tax professional's help. Mary Catherine Cox, A-State News.